Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta and today we'll understand how to introduce higher order constructs and structural equation model in Jamovi. A higher order construct in the context of structural equation modeling refers to a Latin variable that represents a more abstract concept composed of several lower order constructs that are subdimensions which are themselves measured by the multiple observed variables. See, courtesy is a construct, also known as a Latin variable. This is measured with the help of four statements, CR1, CR2, CR3, CR4. These are also known as a manifest variables. Safe flights I, is measured with the help of three statements, SF1, SF2, SF3, and they are on Likert scale. So this is known as a first order of abstraction. Now, individual attention, courtesy, promptness, helpfulness, they are all part of employee deliverables, fair policies, safe flights, desirable assortment of flights, reliable equipment, they are part of company deliverables. So this is known as a second order of abstraction. Employee deliverables and company deliverables, they are all part of airline service quality. So this is the third order of abstraction. Now let's see how we can introduce a higher order construct in Jamovi. So for this, we will go on the interface of Jamovi. Now the value of the insurance is measured with the help of three statements. Basically, these are manifest variables, value one, value two, value three. And our construct is value. Remember, value for the insurance. Loyalty for the insurance is measured with the help of seven statements. Loyalty one, two, three, four, 5, 6 is not there. So, loyalty 7 and 8. Trust of the agents in the insurance company is measured with the help of 4 statements. TA1, TA2, TA3 and TA4. And trust in the insurance company is measured with the help of TC1, TC2, TC3 and TC4. I will request all my viewers to kindly refer my previous videos in which we have already discussed how to construct the model and how to test the reliability and validity of the model. We have also discussed the mediation and moderation. So here, in this video, we are only going to discuss about the higher order construct. So to run SAM, it's necessary that you go in modules and uh, install SAM here. Press install. Once this is done, this icon will appear. Click on it. SAM Interactive. Now, Trust in the company is your endogenous. Transfer it here and give the name trust in the insurance company. Exo is the value for the insurance. Transfer it here, value. Add new letter. Loyalty is measured with the help of seven statements and we'll write here loyalty. Add new latent. Trust of the agents. Transfer it here. So trust agents. Now scroll. Go in the path diagram. Click here on path diagram. Go on the right hand side and it will give you the model. Remember, this is your confirmatory factor analysis. Right? It is a measurement model. We will have to convert this measurement model into the structural model. So how we can do this? See, this is CFA. We have to convert this into the structural model. Now we want to say that value and the loyalty, these are the first order abstraction. And we want to introduce a second order abstraction. So loyalty and value, uh, we will introduce one more uh, second order abstraction and, and we will give the name HOC. So how we can do this? So you go in second order factors and transfer value, transfer loyalty and give the name HOC, which is a higher order. Let's see, is it generating for us or not? Done. See, HOC, value and loyalty. Now in endogenous model, we can uh, treat endogen, uh, endogenous as HOC and 
other constructs we can connect it but we want to consider HOC as exogenous variable and the trust in the company as endogenous so what we will do we will go in customize model settings add directive and trust of the agents tilde HOC enter and let's see the changes which appear here perfect now we will go in the measurement model first and check yeah here is the measurement model HOC value and loyalty the beta and their p value so it's less than 0 0.05 and we can say that a value and loyalty uh, they are significant after the measurement model after assessing the measurement model we will go in the structural model HOC is it affecting the trust in the agents so the dependent is trust of the agents and the predictor is HOC beta is 0.855 and p value is less than 0 0.05 it means that it is significant now we can also change the endogenous construct from here let's write trust in the company is our endogenous and hoc is exogenous and let's see the changes okay so hoc uh, there are two uh, constructs HOC is formed of two constructs, loyalty and value. HOC is exogenous, affecting the trust in the company. And is this part significant or not? That we will see. HOC, trust in the company, beta 0.934 and p-value less than 0 0.05. So it is significant. So this is how you can introduce the higher order constructs in Jamovi. You can also refer my playlist in which I uploaded many videos on data science, machine learning and artificial intelligence. Please don't forget to like and share my videos. You can also join me on different social medias. Link given in the description box.